In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today we begin the novena to the Holy Spirit in preparation for the great feast day of Pentecost. We know that Jesus disciples Jesus disciples when they joined with with him they were looking for power they had their own plans they were self-centered but once the holy spirit came they we don't hear them become self-centered or selfish Rather, we hear them say, going out, and they become Jesus-centered or Christ-centered. As we begin this novena at this particular juncture, this particular time, we pray for the whole world. There is need for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the hearts of every human being in this earth. The novena to the Holy Spirit for Pentecost is actually the original novena, the very first novena. After Jesus ascended into heaven, the disciples prayed for nine days. And on the tenth, tenth day, they received the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Sunday. As we pray to the Holy Spirit, like the disciples did, we want you to be assured that you find some sort of concrete intention for this novena. The Holy Spirit is a powerful advocate. He is a comforter and consoler. And enriched and trust in God, God is a key in spiritual life. So make an extra special effort to trust in God's will for you regarding your intention. We are confident 
we are sure the holy spirit will surprise you with his blessing during this novena so i welcome everyone to this first day of the novena to the holy spirit may the holy spirit bring you joy peace kindness goodness and many blessings in galatians chapter 5 verse 22 St Paul counts 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness trustfulness gentleness fidelity modesty countenance and chastity when the soul is obedient to the inspiration or the promptings of the holy spirit it becomes a good tree that is known by its fruits today we reflect on love love means the fruit founded in those who are completely committed and entirely or totally delivered to the holy spirit's actions in their lives it consists in perfect love of god and neighbor let us bow down in humility at the power and grandeur of the holy spirit let us worship the holy trinity and give glory today to the paraclete our advocate so please pray with me O Holy Spirit by your power Christ was raised from the dead to save us all by your grace miracles are performed in Jesus name by your love we are protected from evil and so we ask with humility for your gift of charity within us the great charity of all the hosts of saints is only made possible by your power o divine spirit increase in me the virtue of love that i may love as god loves with the selflessness of the saints amen come holy spirit fill the hearts of the faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth o god who by the light of the holy spirit did instruct us grant that by the same holy spirit we may truly wise and ever enjoy his consolation through christ our lord amen lord have mercy christ our mercy Lord have mercy Christ to hear us God the father of heaven God the son redeemer of the world God the holy spirit holy trinity one god ray of heavenly light order of all good wisdom and understanding spirit of counsel and fortitude knowledge and piety spirit of grace and prayer spirit of peace and meekness spirit of modesty and innocence the comforter and the sanctifier let us pray o god who by the light of the holy spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful grant us the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation Through Christ our Lord amen We are going to say the act of consecration prayer to the Holy Spirit Consecrate means that we are going to set apart our life for God allow God to work in our life that means we are going to listen to the holy spirit and according to the will of god
So we pray this prayer of act of consecration, spirit of truth, love and holiness, proceeding from the Father and the Son, and equal to them in all things. I adore you with all my heart. Holy Spirit, trusting in your deep and personal love for me, I am making this novena for the following request. If it should be your holy will to grant it, brothers and sisters, please bring your prayer request. Peace in your hearts, intentions of your family members and loved ones. Especially we pray these difficult times and end of this pandemic. And all our people may turn back to God. Who is the way, the truth and the life. Do not let me fall into sin. Give me an increase of faith, hope and charity. And bring forth in my soul all the virtues proper to my state of life. Make me a faithful disciple of Jesus and an obedient child of the church. Give me grace sufficient to keep the commandments and to receive the sacraments worthily. Holy Spirit, divine spirit of light, I love. I consecrate to you my understanding, heart and will, my whole being, for time and for all eternity. May my heart be ever inflamed with the love of God and of my neighbor. May my will be ever conform to the divine will. And may my whole life be faithful to the imitation of the life and virtues of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with the Father and you be honor and glory forever. God, Holy Spirit, through the pure hands of Mary, your Immaculate Spouse, I place myself this day and all the days of my life and being firmly resolved now more than ever to he hear your voice and to do in all things your most holy and adorable will. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And may the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ descend upon you and remain with you forever. And His promise of the Holy Spirit come upon your hearts, your families, wherever you may be. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.